Hey everyone, welcome back to another Godzilla Battleline video. And today I am coming at you with my most requested video that I've gotten all of the month of November. And that is how to build a deck featuring Kiryu in it. You guys seem to really like the Bailante deck build video and I am seeing a ton of Bailante players roaming around the meta right now in the arena and I couldn't be happier that you guys are taking my advice for what it's worth. But you guys wanna know how to use Kiryu, I'm gonna show you how to use Kiryu. There's two things I have in mind and I'm gonna show you one thing really quickly and then we're gonna spend some time building a Kiryu deck. So, how to use Kiryu on your team, just slot him into the Bailante deck. Where Kiryu is right now in my squad, that is normally where I put my flex pick, so I had King Caesar there temporarily, but if you put Kiryu in with the Bailante deck and you use Bailante's buff, Kiryu's gonna get a buff and he actually is really solid and he's performing very well at level five and above. Next, I'm showing you my Kiryu deck before I get into how to build a Kiryu deck. This is what my deck looks like, and I'm gonna show you gameplay later on in this video of me winning with this deck, and I'm gonna break down the fight play by play for you. But how do we build the Kiryu deck? So let's start with this blank deck that I have, deck number five. It's just all of the leaders, pretty much. So let's put Kiryu in the lead. And since we swapped Kiryu and Space Godzilla, we already have one piece of the puzzle. For a Kiryu deck, what you're going to want to do to take advantage of his ability is stall. So why do I say that? Well, for the uninitiated, here's his ability. 8 energy, cooldown, 180 seconds. Depletes 90% of the current HP of enemy units in a straight line within a certain range. Here's the video of it. It can work on individual units like this Kong and this G89, two of the best tanks in the game. Or... It can work against leaders. That's how a lot of players who have Kiryu are using him. They are going after the enemy leader with this ability. But you do have to wait three minutes for overtime to make that happen. So what you're going to want to do, especially with a low level leader, and if you're in the higher end of the arena, like at rank 65, you're going to want to stall out your opponent because you don't want them reaching a low health Kiryu and just killing you pretty fast. You want to stall the, your enemy as much as possible. So let's take a look at how we can do that. And like I said earlier, we already have Space Godzilla, one piece of the puzzle. Let's take a look at him. Space Godzilla, you summon him, and he drops two crystals. Each of these crystals counts as basically a unit. So Gigan, take a look. It goes after facilities and leaders. Crystals counts as a facility. That is something that Gigan is going to be going after instead of your leader or your other units. So that is definitely something you can use to stop Gigans. There's not a lot of Gigans running around in the meta right now. You're going to see a lot of Gigans as leaders, not so many Gigans on the field. But this can also stop, uh, you know, I was going to say King Leo. King Caesars and Mothra Leos because they will have the rush. And if they get to these crystals first, that's what they're targeting and wasting their rush on. Additionally, other units like Kamakuris or Ultima or Super X will also target these if it's in range. So having Space Godzilla at a high enough level, like I have a mine at level 8, right? He's pretty solid health-wise. He he lasts a little while but having those two extra crystals is huge and gives you enough extra buffer and extra layer of defense to protect your Kiryu. Next. Obviously we have to throw Manila on the team. Manila two cost right has a great slow has great range. This is going to slow down enemy units for sure. Next up is Mo, uh, I was going to say Mogera, is Mega Gears, I think, definitely belongs on this deck. Mega Gears has a slowing ability and is amazing on defense. So you see this G89 walking up onto the field right by the enemy leader. You drop Mega Gears down, slows the G89. Obviously, that's not going to kill the G89, and he's still going to make it to this leader over here. They kill it because it's just the preview video, but it might not be the same case for you. You might have to have some backup, but Mega Gears in a big team fight can slow a very large portion of enemies within an area. So I'm a fan of Mega Gears. Super X, for sure. Super X is really cheap, really good right now. Uh, seeing a lot of play has a ton of range. So having a ton of range is really good for dwindling down enemy health from wherever you are on the map. Next, and this is a uh, kind of a switch, you can do either or. You can either put in the Kamakuris or the Dorats, whichever you prefer. It's I think it's the personal preference. I use the Kamakuris because they're cheap and you get three units on the field. And you'd be saying like, oh, Hedera is in the meta, right? There's, uh, what's his name, it's King Ghidorah running around or even a Des Ghidorah could take them down. But what you want to do with the Kamakuris is take up your enemy's sight lines. Say Kamakuris versus Super X. Kamakuris is never going to hit the Super X, right? Because it's a ground-based unit, doesn't have anti-air. But to take down the Kamakuris, 
the enemy super X might have to use one or two shots per Kamakuris, and you're really using them to take the hits, not really to deal too much damage. Yeah, you can do a lot to Godzilla, Terrestrial, Ultima, and, and G89 if you play properly, but most importantly, you're using them to eat up hits, right, and take up damage from other characters. Two other units that I see used a lot in these decks are the Freezing Sunday or the Energy Collector. And the Freezing Sande is seeing a bit more play just because it's cheap and you can get the freeze off and stop people from moving. The Energy Collector is mostly used to like force feed out units. You just pop that down and then you can have your Mecha Godzilla Ultimate, your Kiryu Ultimate, and then uh, you can know, you can just pop out your Kamakuris, your Manila, your Super X all the time. I use the Freezing Sande. That's what uh, Stagathy builds, friend of the channel. He is actually the one that showed me his deck and how to build a proper Kiryu stall deck as he's been having a lot of success at it. So all the tips are basically credit to him. I'm just giving it to you guys. And then you have like a flex spot. So that can really be whatever you want. I was using G89 because he's a really great tank still, but I was only using him in adjacent with the Energy Collector because then I have... GD9 at 7 energy and Space Godzilla at 6 and Mega Gears at 5 and that is taking up a lot of resources. You also could choose Jet Jaguar to eat up some hits. He's always a good option. A lot of people are running the m -Bob base. They're seeing a lot of play with that. And then some people are running, uh, what's his name? King Caesar and Mothra Leo because they are the ultimate stun or not stun i was gonna say stun locking but that's not true it's they're the ultimate counter to evolution units in my personal cure you deck i am using king caesar because you can use him to target ultimas or terrestrials rather and the bachelor larvas and the mothra larvas before they evolve that is huge you're not going to hit the hetera flying form with king caesar but you can with mothra leo so keep that in mind that's how i like to play this deck i like to stall them out and i know if they're going to get an ultima onto the field or a two like a batra and a mothra or just a moth or just a batra and or a mothra you know just if they get any evolution units on the field that could be a big problem for me because i have a lot of low cost units so i'm trying to kill their evolution units as fast as possible so this is my deck right this is what it looks like i'm gonna show you some gameplay right now on the right hand side of the screen shout out to broad gamer helping me in the discord record this and this is a fixed level battle so it's gonna be you know a little bit longer than normal because it's a stall deck so i'm trying to stall him for as long as possible so i can get in close and use the absolute zero cannon special ability this is just how i place mecha godzilla or space godzilla i should say i like to put him behind the building so i can put the crystals up there and it takes him a little bit longer to work his way up so he's not in the middle of the map by himself ignore how i placed king caesar i absolutely botched the um the charge right but that's not going to stop me from killing the terrestrials as you're going to see my super x is coming through king caesar runs into the kamakuris but it's not going to matter between manila super x space godzilla and caesar that terrestrial goes down use the freeze on Ghidorah, stun him for a little bit make sure i can get some extra attacks in while he is still charging up with that slow we have a manila versus manila battle and look at that a caesar placement with also the kamakuris that is going to help keep my Manila alive, keep my Caesar alive for a little bit longer. As you can see, I'm putting the pressure on his leader. He used his ability. Kind of, you know, did some decent damage there, but not anything that I'm too worried about. Right now, I just have Super X putting the pressure on while I build up energy. Uh, you see in my hand, I have Space Godzilla and Mega Gearus and Manila. All three are very good units. I want to make sure that when there's a big push, I'm prepared and I have as much as I would need. So there you see the freeze again. Space Godzilla's going up solo. Manila versus Super X killed each other. Ghidorah spawns in. I think I play Super X here. I freeze them both. Super X has to come out at some point, but there's a freeze right there on both of them. I'm building up my energy for a big push. There's Caesar going to send him up. I see that Batra Larva in the back. That's why I put King Caesar on the side. See if I can get him to go around. But Broad was smart and he put his, uh, what are they, Kamakuras down. So they're going to progress. They're going to keep on moving. I'm unsure actually if I even, if I was able to kill the Batra, but I'm doing a ton of damage to the Manila right taking down the the uh king Ghidorah right there i think bachelor larva is going to make it out of this one i don't remember yep so 
as you can see, obviously, you know, King Caesar is a good counter to the free evolutions, but if your opponent is good and can protect them and is an intelligent player, you may uh, not be able to reach the evolutions. However, as you can see, uh, I'm fighting the Terrestrist right here, doing some freeze. I actually don't even remember if I take this Terrestrist down either, but in any case, I when I play, I try to take all the evolutions down as fast as I can, and in the case of this game, I didn't do it well, but it's not going to deter me from recommending that a King Caesar or Leo goes in the deck because they are very, very helpful regardless. Now we're playing a little too close to comfort. We got Cure You with the AoE. So we're actually in the 0.5 boost overtime. I could have used Cure You's Absolute Cannon already on my enemy leader. However, I was, <laughs> I was too focused on surviving at the time that I did not even realize the countdown clock until I saw the timer. I didn't even read the OT, you know? I was just so focused on surviving and even commentating. I didn't even notice that the, the overtime went down the first time. I was so focused on just looking at the play-by-play. -play. But as you can see, I'm building up energy right now. Super X is coming on the left side. There's eight energy. Here's the nuke. Absolute zero right to the face. I hit Ultima too. You see Ultima's health go down as well. If I had a Hedera up there instead of Space Godzilla, probably could have swept them all. But there it is. That is the end of the fight right there. That was a dub. And that was with this deck you see on screen. Obviously, I don't want to say that this deck is the pinnacle of Godzilla. Uh, I was going to say Space Godzilla. Of Kiryu stall decks. I definitely think it is has a bunch of viable options in it i think this one as well maybe not with that mothra but it's very close to the deck i was building here anyway i think you can play around with it i think energy collector has a spot in this deck i think dorats could have a spot and i think that the mothra leo as well could have a spot just for killing evolutions but what you're really wanting to do is stall for time i've seen the mbar base like i said because it just pumps out units that all have stuns that could be useful if you have a high level terrestrial and ultima you might want to do that as well but the deck is not about rushing to your opponent and killing them super fast it's about stalling and you see how my average cost of energy is 3.8 it is a low low energy cost that means i can just keep pumping out some of these lower units that are powerful like the super x and manila and the freeze and king caesar so i have low cost right and a lot of units that are just doing incredible blocking damage and stopping power damage obviously you can build the deck however you want and as long as you survive into ot you can use the absolute zero cannon there are plenty of other units you could probably use in this deck and there's plenty of strategies that you could use that probably i haven't discovered like i said i'm using the tips that i'm getting from people in the discord stag at these particularly and what i'm observing in gameplay fighting against cure you leaders so let me know if this deck is any helpful to you if you tried this deck out let me know if you're getting any wins with it and if you're successfully stalling or if you're just running through to your opponent's leader and killing them thank you for taking the time to watch this video let me know what the next leader deck you would like to see is and i'll catch you all in the next one peace